good cheer. But this day we're playing Please Melbourne, and I hated Melbourne. Back. You know, that. Hey, da da da. And here, ha ha. We go down there. And uh, hello. Poor, poor fellas from Richmond, you know, yes, righto. Come on, <laughs> let's get on with the business. And uh, this day, we, it was a half back flank of Melbourne. He put young Wilson into the fence. And the other fella sang out down there, that's right, put him in the fence. You know, and I said, I'll put you in the bloody fence. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I spoke like that too. And <laughs> this big fella, six foot, uh, didn't weigh much, about six foot three and a half, didn't weigh much, I must admit that. And he's coming through and I let go. Oh, it was one of the most beautiful time bumps I've ever had. <laughs> oh, he, he went up in the air and stayed there a while and come down. <laughs> So out comes Dr. Cordner, you know. Oh, yes, Dr. Cordner. Dr. Cordner. And he's got a sheet, and they've got the, what's your name, you know, the thing they take him off the ground. The stretcher, Jack. So they put him on, he put him on, you know, pulled the blanket right over him. <laughs> after, you know, after the doctor had felt his pulse and everything, oh, I said, good God, I've killed him. <laughs> and, but I was still wild, I was still wild about the Wilson incident. So I'm walking off at this stage, and I get up to Ray Dunn coming yeah. out, our solicitor, yeah. a criminal solicitor. And the president. <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, he said, that was a good bump, Jack. He loved that stuff, you know. <laughs> I said, I think I've killed him, Ray. He said, it's only manslaughter, I'll get you to walk that very <laughs> <laughs>